I don't know how to use the laptop. <laughs> okay, my name is Maggie Gourlay. I'm your friendly neighborhood Drenai QA engineer, and I'm here to tell you how DevOps is like raiding in World of Warcraft. Um, a little bit about me, I do QA at VictorOps, but before that, I was a gamer, and I also was a sysadmin, and I also tested games at EA Sports. And as you can imagine, lots of stuff has changed over the years, including gaming. Um, it used to be the case that you would sit there with your friend on your sofa, and you guys would play a game in the same room, and now we play these massively multiplayer games with people all over the world, and that's pretty sweet. Uh, other things have changed as well, including the shape of computers and how we write our software. Now we have agile development, and we also have things like DevOps, which is really cool. Basically, instead of just that one guy who's in charge of everything, uh, we have a whole team, and that's, that's our lovely team. We've got our developers, our testers, we've got some sysadmins, usually there are other people on the team, but this fits my analogy, so we'll go with it. Um, the other day I was playing WoW, and I realized that this looks a lot like how you would assemble a 10-person raid. Uh, you have your DPS, which are, of course, your developers, and you have your healers, which are the QA, and your tanks, which are the sysadmin. Um, so uh, DPS stands for damage over time. Uh, we have our casters. They stand back and fire fireballs. And we have our melee, who run up to things and hit them with hammers. Those would be our front-end engineers. Our back-end engineers are the wizards who are throwing fireballs and arrows and such. Uh, so that's, that's my analogy. Um, <laughs> next we have uh, the healers that are coming out. Oh wait, sorry. I was supposed to say how it's very important to have our DPS on our raid team because without that, the tank will never be able to, will be, never be able to kill things and the DPS is super critical to actually bringing down the boss. Okay, now we have our healers. Healers basically sit back, they make sure that everything is, that everybody is healthy, they make sure your pets are taken care of, they're just, they sort of chill in the back and make sure that everything is going well. Uh, but they're also, they only really get credit when they do a good job. Uh, QA, similarly, can be pretty hazardous, uh, but our job is to make sure that the product is healthy, things are going smoothly, usually you only hear from us when things are going wrong. Uh, sometimes, like I said, if a failure happens, sometimes the healer gets blamed, even if you're the one that ran in and like hit the thing with a hammer before everyone else was behind you. Um, same thing happens in QA. Then we have the tanks. The tanks are the guys, they have the really big armor and they run up to the big boss and they like start hitting it with sticks and they make sure that no one else uh, takes any damage. Um, they're really pretty heroic. Uh, and they're very hard to find. Same with sysadmins. It's really hard to find a good sysadmin. Without him, we'd all be lost, but a lot of, them, a lot of us could never do their job. So sysadmins are super important. And it's cool because sysadmins and also tanks can be very heroic. Sort of in the background, sort of in the foreground, you're really never sure what they're doing, but that's pretty awesome that they're able to keep that up. <laughs> uh, also, so in larger raids, you also have these extra benefits. You've got people who bring magical food, like donuts, to the office, and then you have the ability to restore from backup or, you know, battle res. And you've got your uh, soul well there. I haven't figured out that analogy, but uh, so we've got our tools. Tools are like buffs. They stack up, and you have this big pile of them, and you really only know which one you really need at the time, but they help you uh, do your job better, Make sure you don't take enough damage. Make sure you know if you are taking damage. Uh, and if gaming has taught me anything, it's that good communication is critical. Uh, this is a very historical example of a raid gone very badly. Um, some guy was off getting a sandwich, and you know nobody knew what happened, and he came back and ran right in, and everything failed. Um, so no matter what your role is on your raid or on your DevOps team, you're very important to success. It's important to like know everyone's role in your raid, honor it. They're doing the very best part of them that they can. And uh, if you all do a very good job, you guys can take down the boss, get some good gear, and maybe level up.
Awesome. All right.